Hello, I'm Frankie. And I'm Rachel. Now welcome back to the next episode of Danganronpa. <laughs> now, let's continue this shit. Shuichi seems to figure out who the fucking mastermind is, apparently. Or realise, what well, he knows now that he has all of the information he needs to figure out who it is. We're running out of time! What, we have to go to the courtyard, don't we? Yeah. How do I get to the courtyard? Uh. Fuck! I'm wasting time! I'm, I'm wasting time! Wait, I have to well, go down. When... I'm wasting time, Beb. What does that mean? We have to stop the destruction. How? Oh, here. Courtyard. Stop Kibo from fighting the Exosaurus, obviously. But how are we going to do a class craft that hasn't been a murder? That should have been a fully voice if you ask me. それとも覚悟を決めましたか。どちらにしても。これが最後のチャンスですよ。何だかよくわからないけど、ロボットいじめにも飽きてきたところだし。いいよ。話だけは聞いてあげる。それで別のやり方とは何ですか。学級裁判
Here, Here we it go. comes. I'm glad no one else is dead. Awesome. Let's do it. Yes. Man, I feel sick. This makes me think there's something about Kayade. Yeah. Because he looked at the shot put that had fibers on it. I don't know. What if Antaro was Kayade's twin? She didn't say twin sister, did she? She said she had a twin. A younger twin. Yeah, I, think, I don't think they said sister, did they? And you can have a boy and girl twin, so. everyone before we go since there's no time that much Yeah. 
Um, so we have to go down this way now, don't we? Yep. Let's do this. Oh, the final class trial. Man. A lot of shit's happened here. I don't like how they're pointing that out now. Like I agree, like yeah, we can work together, but now I'm sitting there thinking it will, oh. how how our character, how Shuichi's about to react next, is gonna we'll see. I don't like that. I still think it could be one of us. If it's going to be any of these people here, it's going to be the cosplayer. I think. Because it makes the most sense. Kind of. <sighs> Did Kaede used to do that? Like, I swear she used to put her hand over her. Her, um... Arm. One of her arms. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, good old Kiba. Oh, yeah, he's got his thing back. Hey, what the fuck? So he's got his, has he got his inner voice back? Could that be like Makoto or something? Like helping him out behind the scenes? Some of that men. Neither do I. Before we talk to him. Yeah. 
The camera and um, no. as we said, there's no cameras in here, but yeah. Monokuma is always watching. Uh? <laughs>君たちにも何か役割が与えられているはずです。それを成すことができなくなりますが、それでもいいんですか？名前はモノチッチ。モノクマーズの一員らしいですね。え、この小さいのも？じゃあモノクマーズって五体じゃなくて六体いたの？
Not doing it. Five. Oh, so few. I hope so. Class trial of the century. That button doesn't look nice. No. Damn right I want to save. I don't want to save over this bit. Because just in case, I don't know. I'll, or should we? Ah, oh, fuck it. It's not going to change anything, really. Chapter 6, save point. Okay. Let's view our handbook. Wait, what was this? Warzone is 50 cents as Monokuma. Two Earth. Final class trial. Can they put. Can this go any slower? Can they put an end to the killing game? Well, let's review all of our evidence that we've got. Okay. So, History of Hope, Hope's Peak. Found in the Ultimate Supreme Leader's Research Lab, this book details the history of the battle between hope and despair. The afterword claims it was compiled by several esteemed researchers and is the most thorough and accurate book written on the subject. <coughs> However, it contradicts the memory of Shuichi and Maki received from the flashback line. <coughs> 
The key passages of the documents are as follows. The cause of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human... Okay. Continuing back from that. Well, what was I saying? You were just reading out. That paragraph, the top one. The cause of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history was the ultimate despair. <coughs> the term ultimate despair can refer to both the group and the events caused by Junko and Oshima. In order to plunge the world into despair, the ultimate despair plotted the killing game of Hope's Peaks 78th class. To protect themselves from the tragedy, the 78th class sealed themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy as part of the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. Hope's Peak Academy did not admit students by application. The only way to be admitted was by being scouted. Kokichi's motor video. One of the videos attributed as the motive in Karumi's case. <clears throat> Though most of the videos ended up with the wrong person, Kokichi got his own. According to the video, Kokichi was leader of a secret society named DICE. Together with his 10 underlings, he committed non-violent crimes and harmless pranks around the world. But let's make a mental note that there's only 9 people there, yeah. there's not 10. That must mean there's something. something. No. Killing game. Monokuma is particular about the killing game's rules and making sure it's exciting, almost like the killing game is meant to be shown. In addition, it's very similar to the killing games held by Junko and Ashima in the past. Kokichi claimed that this killing game was being watched by someone. There's loads of- we, we just discovered that there's loads of fucking cameras. So, let's look and more and more like that. Two mysterious messages. Two different messages found in the courtyard. The first message said, this world is mine, Kokichi Oma. However, when first discovered by Gonta, it said horse A. The second message said twins B. It was found on the wall next to the boiler. <gasps> right. Rantaro's video message. A video file found on the USB stored in the vault in the ultimate question marks research lab. It is a message from Rantaro before he lost his memories to, to himself after... What? It was a message from Rantaro before he lost his memories to himself after he lost his memories. Does that make sense to you? That was a message from Rantaro before he lost his memories to himself after he lost his memories. It sounds a bit weird to me. Oh, fuck, fuck it. Anyway, according to the message, Rantaro was the ultimate survivor and had participated in a previous killing game. Which is, that's very interesting. So what does that mean? Is there's more? Mm. Go for project, participate. Oh, it does say sister. Bit. Oh yeah, okay, it does. A document found in the cold sleep room written on it are the profiles of all the participants in the Gopher project. According to this document, Kaede has a younger twin sister. That must mean something. They wouldn't fucking highlight that. Bug vac. A vacuum device for capturing bugs. It was found in the ultimate event as a research lab. Thought to have been designed by Kikichi to check whether or not the tiny bugs gone to sometimes saw were real. Although it's still a prototype, it is functional and shows signs of shows signs of use. However, it doesn't seem to have captured any bugs. Mother Kuma, a giant Monokuma head in a giant, in, <coughs> in a glass case. It was in the hidden room in the back of the library. It is a machine that creates spare bodies for Monokuma and copies his thoughts over to them. Survivor's perk, Monopad. The monopad given to Rantaro for being the ultimate survivor. Clue to end the killings. The mastermind who is behind the killing game is hiding somewhere within the academy. Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs a spare. At that time, the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove this hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you'll remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people you, you <coughs> with people who you know you can trust. Rantaro Amami. Shot put ball with pink fiber. Found inside the trash can in the hidden room. There were no blood stains on the shot. It is different from the one used to kill Rantaro. Pink fibers were found on it. So, so it's, it's not the one that was killed, but it had pink fibers on it. What does that mean? To end the hi uh, hidden door in the library. To enter the hidden room from the library, a card key is needed. However, when exiting to the library from the hidden room, no card key is needed. Uh, clues to the mastermind. According to Mother Kuma, the mastermind goes to the hidden room in the library quite often. In addition, the classroom that creates flashback lights reverts to its original state when its door is opened. <coughs> it seems as though the person operating it was being cautious not to be seen by anyone. In it, oh wait, we're just looking at that's just a picture, okay. 
one. In addition, the classroom that creates flashback lights reverts to its original state when its door opens. Why is that? What, what, what does that mean? According to Marvel Kingdom, the mastermind goes to the hidden room in the library quite often. That's that hidden room, yeah? Yeah. In addition, the classroom that creates flashback lights reverts to its original state when its door is opened. Why is that with the clues? Oh, because uh, it's just clues to the mastermind. It's not separate. Okay, I got you. I, think, I, I would have thought that classroom would have been in a separate one. But no. Flashback light settings. Flashback lights can be made in the classroom on the second floor. There are four categories for the type of flashback light that can be created. The survivors, the outside world, the killing game, the participants. From those basic categories, several options are available. Hidden room passageway. A secret passageway hidden in the back of the supply closet in the girls' bathroom on the first floor. It is connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. This passageway was not even shown on the map of the school when the survivor perk monoclad, only the mastermind, knew about it. Final picture of Rantaro. The photograph taken by the camera facing the hidden door in the library during Kaede's class. It was discovered in Kokichi's room. Rantaro's picture trying to remove the camera. Why is that going to play something again? The six monocub, named Nanokuma, they are collectively the sixth member of the monocubs. The true identity of the tiny bugs gone to for he saw. They are so small they cannot be seen by normal human eyes. They exist as a hive mind rather than as individuals. They fly around the academy and use their cameras to take footage, which is then wirelessly sent to Mafakuma. Mafakuma passes the footage and then sends it off to Monokuma in the academy. And finally, Mother Kuma's voice print system. Mother Kuma recognizes the mastermind's voice and cannot create spare monokumas without their command. And that's all of the. That is, that is all of the evidence we have so far. Now that we've all gone through all of that evidence, we can soak that in. And we'll save, continuing this start on this class trial properly in the next episode yeah so that's gonna be a long one yes it's, it's definitely gonna be a long one probably not as long as the last one but it's still gonna be a long one anyway thank you very much for watching everyone and we'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye